here with another Builder Kids video, and this is a palm sander. We're going to be telling you how to use it. So you can you can t so you can, if you don't have sandpaper on this, you you can you take sandpaper and you cut it on there, and then. Yep, you cut a square mm -hmm. to fit the bottom of this, right? Mm-hmm. And then they, these things, you you can take... Yeah, you just lift these little locks, you lift up... And then you can wrap the, and then you wrap the sandpaper around. You wrap the sandpaper around and then lock it in place. And we'll show you how to do that here in a second. And then, and then once you have the sandpaper in, you take your, um, whatever, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> This little piece here that's got the nub sticking out of it. And then you have nubs and you stick it on with the sandpaper on and pokes holes. And then it goes, and then it's the holes the pick holes up the here. dust. Mm -hmm. They suck in the dust as you're and sanding. Then, and then it, it, it blows it into the um, dust or sandbag. Yep, into the bag. That's it. And you can hold, you hold it like this. And it's, you can go, you can use it like this. You can use it. Like you can kind of go like up and down with it. Mm -hmm. You can, you can kind of use it for a car, but it's meant for wood. Yeah, it's really meant for wood. And you could just like any of the other sanding devices, you could put um, a bunch of different grits on here. So if you want, you can put any grit. On yeah, it. really any grit. So if you have something real coarse, you could maybe put a thirty-six grit. But or it if you has were to be like big enough that you can cut a sheet on. Yeah, you need to be able to cut like a rectangle out to fit it on there. The other thing we're going to try, I have these old DA discs. These are six inch discs that actually might fit around there. So since we're not going to use those for anything else, we might stick them on here and just see how they work. Mm -hmm. But we're going to sand part of the, the edge of this bar down with it and we'll show you how that works here in a minute. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to show you how to use the palm sander. Okay. So it's got the on off switch. It's meant for one hand, but you could use it with two, especially if you're a little bit younger. Wear safety glasses anytime you're using something like this, and uh, definitely have adult supervision. You ready? We're gonna turn it on. Okay, so what's that feel like, Sienna? A little smoother, right? Yeah. I mean, over here it's pretty rough, over here it's pretty smooth. We're going to use multiple courses or multiple grits of paper. We're just going to keep going back and forth over this. Uh, you can either go a circular or you can just kind of go back and forth and just kind of work your edges, your round spot. This is tricky because it's got a curve to it. Normally you would use this on a more flat surface. <laughs> and then we're just going to keep working across until we get the smooth as smooth as we want, right? Okay. Thank Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of our latest videos. Bye!